A vacant downtown office building you've probably been driving by for years is about to come to life. KITV Force Catherine Cruz tells us lawmakers have now put the money on the table to move forward. The 60 year old structure sits on the corner of King and Richards. The Victoria Kamamalu building is named after a Hawaiian princess. Now boarded up and sitting unused, it has fallen victim to vandals. In 2006, the state took action and began an overhaul, removing the asbestos and aging pipes and wiring. The mechanical systems, the plumbing, um, water systems, air conditioning, electrical were all gutted at that time. But without the funds to finish the project, it sat for several more years. A peek inside hints of the 1950s era. There are Hawaiian designs on the mosaic tile walls along with the terrazzo floors. Now that lawmakers have appropriated nearly $30 million for the build-out, the state can start making plans to bring in various departments that are now spread out across the state. We save money because we're moving them into state-owned space and um, we're not paying out that lease rent at at some point, it um, makes sense that um, it catches up with the uh, bonding. Among the new tenants will be staff from the Department of Human Services and Department of Health. We want to um, look at consolidating their programs for efficiency and um, bringing them um, closer to the, uh, the capital district. The hope is to transform this shell of a building into a modern green structure. Probably we can't reuse this stuff. Mm -hmm. It's going to have to be um, filled in, covered over, and then um, we put a um, new finished floor. The state had one time toyed with the idea of a private-public partnership, but now that the state monies are in line, the plan is to go out to bid at the end of the year and to complete construction by 2015. Catherine Cruz, KITV4 News.